Hi, I'm Lucas. Hey, I'm Fabian, and this is our company, Dolce Vita. So, executor summary. We are owned and developed by me, Fabian Henningsen, and by me, Lucas Ibeo. So, Dolce Vita is an on the road business. We have self made ingredients, we sell uh, frozen yogurt and ice cream. And we're operating in Los Angeles downtown because of two reasons. We have an average of 72 degrees throughout the year, so we don't have an off season. And we have throughout the year 42.2 million people who visit the city. So that's another reason. So overview, our mission is to provide customers with homemade food, homemade products, homemade ingredients. So overall, uh, frozen yogurt um, and our ice cream only contain the best ingredients. And so our strong customer base is the first step that we need. Because of that, because uh, when we have a strong customer base, we will have exponential growth. And with exponential growth, we will be able to buy more trucks. And with more trucks, we will have more revenue in the end. So, um, company description. Um, we are in the food industry. Um, obviously, we are a service company since we um, serve the people really good ice cream. Um, so, Dolce Vita is a combination of great customer base, uh, high quality goods, fair pricing, love and respect for the people of Los Angeles. And with all of that combined, we will have a big chance of competing within the city with our competitors. Um, we are a partnership between me, Fabian, and me, Lucas. So, um, next one. Market. So the total market in uh, Los Angeles will be the 3.9 million people that live in Los Angeles and the 42.2 million that I mentioned before that visit the city throughout the year. Um, so the size of the target market will stay the same because people from old to young that like ice cream are our target market. There's nothing specific about it. Yeah. A little bit about the product, as my partner Pavin has mentioned, it's a homemade ice cream and it's also it's also a we also use organic uh, ingredients which leaves out the idea of processed and unhealthy food and we're at the introduction stage so <clears throat> we're trying to actually show people what we're about and show people that we actually deliver what we tell them that we do uh, two things that we're going to be prote protecting are going to be for as intellectual product uh, property it's going to be our business's name and the product recipe because it's an Italian and family secret uh, recipe. Uh, the, our pricing strategy are going to be they're going to be the ice cream are going to be around the, the small one will be around five and six dollars and they're not going to they're, they're, they're going to slightly vary from small medium and and large size. We're going to have we're going to be at a, a profit margin uh, uh, rate of 40% per good sold in the beginning and we're not gonna do any sort of discount or or deals until we hit the growth stage uh, promotion there's three uh, factors that are gonna be uh, really important in the beginning the first one is word of mouth because we as I said we're gonna try as, as much as possible to deliver what we are telling people that we do. We're telling people that we have high quality product, so that's what we're gonna to try to do. And so they can, and that's what is gonna build up our reputation. They're gonna tell their, their relatives, they're gonna tell their friends, and that's gonna be really important. Second one is just local newspaper announcements. And third one is the internet, because we're living in a digital world today, and internet and social media is gonna be very important in the process of increasing our sales. Uh, our philanthropy is that we are our, we are a, a environmental friendly company. So our first truck is we're gonna start off with the electronic truck, and we're gonna have our recycle recycling garbage uh, thing that we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be supporting two orga local organizations. First one is Ocean Friendly Gardens and Risable Plastics, uh, and they're both uh, they both deal with. Uh, cleaning the ocean and, and removing plastic and, and garbage from the ocean. Uh, we're going to have part-time employees, uh, one besides Fabian and I, we're going to have an assistant manager as well, which is going to be the supervisor He's going to uh, handle food, but the main ones are going to handle food, they're going to handle food, they're going to be our two employees that we're going to have in the truck, always like making the ice cream and stuff. and. The, their benefits are we're gonna pay them uh, something around 
nine nine point twenty five dollars per hour. Plus, they're gonna have their tips and uh, uh, health insurance and a thirty minute break paid by us. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's gonna be a different training program for each position. So the the assistant manager is gonna have a training uh, program, and the employees are gonna have uh, another one. All right, founding request. That's me again. Um, so the amount that we request is fifty thousand um, dollars, and we're gonna pay the amount back within five years with interest rate. And with these fifty thousand dollars, we want to buy our electronic truck, which we need to start out um, to get our company well known in the community. All right, risks and barriers. Every company has risks and barriers, and for us, it's definitely the companies that are already well introduced into the uh, market in Los Angeles that already have a strong customer base over several years build up. So for us, the introduction stage is going to be the hardest to survive uh, because we need to build up a strong customer base to make it within the city of Los Angeles. And uh, if we go through this and come into the growth stage, we will have a big chance of actually expanding. So yeah, this is our company, Dolce Vita, and I hope you like our presentation. Thank you guys. Thanks.